CNET.com slash live is the place to find your favorite CNET tech shows. From the hottest gadgets to the latest tech news, we stream it live five days a week at CNET.com slash live. Hi, I'm Natalie Del Conte for CNET, and I'm here to show you how to get your personal information off of Google search results. This is a complicated question with a bit of a complicated answer, but we're going to try and break it down for you. When someone asks how do you get something off of Google, usually they mean either their personal contact information or else removing a search result for a site that mentions them unfavorably. The first type is easier. Remember that Google indexes everything that is on the internet, so the best way to keep your personal information private is just not to ever publish it. That includes on your Facebook or Flickr albums or any other social networking site. To set that in Facebook, go to Account and then Privacy Settings and set your contact information to be viewable by friends only. This way Google can't see it when it crawls the web. If there's information about you on a website that you don't want published, you can contact the owner of that site and ask them to remove it. Good luck with that. If they won't, a lot of times that's the case, then you're kind of out of luck. Your best hope is that people won't read that site often and it will be moved down the search results as more relevant results are read and clicked on. Unless the information in question has your social security number, bank account, or other sensitive information, in which case you can notify Google of this through their customer service page. If the owner of a site agrees to remove information, you're in luck. That information will not show up in Google results once Google re-indexes the web, which they do periodically. If that has not happened fast enough for you, you can request that Google remove it by visiting the site google.com slash webmasters slash tools slash removals, and then you will request a new removal. Your best bet to avoid these headaches is to practice prudence when disclosing information about yourself online. Of course, there will always be people who are being unpleasant on the internet, but at the very least, you can just not be one of them. I'm Natalie Del Conte for CNET. CNET.com slash live is the place to find your favorite CNET tech shows. From the hottest gadgets to the latest tech news, we stream it live five days a week at CNET.com slash live.